Index funds are investments that follow a market index, such as the S&P 500. Index mutual funds and index exchange traded funds or ETFs are both examples of index funds. These funds often employ a passive investing technique, which implies that their goal is to provide returns that are comparable to those of an index of securities. Conversely, due to the expenses connected with these funds, index funds often produce returns that are marginally lower than an index. Throughout this video, we'll go over how index funds operate, name a few indexes that they follow, and look at the advantages and risks of this kind of investment. Simple words. Index funds are designed to perform similarly to a significant market index. This indicates that they often incorporate a variety of assets and are diversified across that index's securities. Market indexes come in a variety of forms, and index funds track them all. Investing in a fund that tracks an index, such as the S&P 500, which tracks the 500 biggest stocks on the market, the Dow Jones Industrial Average SM, which consists of 30 large-cap industrial stocks, the Nasdaq, which tracks 100 large-cap technology stocks, or the Russell, which tracks 2,000 small-cap stocks, is one option if you wish to invest in U.S. stocks. The MSCI EAFE, which covers large-cap companies in industrialized nations all across Europe, Australia, and the Far East, is an illustration of a widely followed index for international stocks. The Barclays Capital Aggregate Bond Index, which combines a variety of government bonds, mortgage-backed securities, and corporate bonds with various maturities, is an illustration of a widely followed index for U.S. bonds. These illustrations demonstrate how index funds may follow a variety of assets, including equities and bonds. And index funds that track currencies, commodities, and other assets exist. Let me know in the comments if you have any other questions about investing. Let's return to the video. An index fund still carries risks, though regardless of the asset class they follow. Simply put, because they closely track an index, index funds are subject to the same risks. For instance, if the value of the S&P 500 falls, the index fund that track it would too. If interest rates increase and the value of bonds declines, an index fund that follows bonds might be at risk. Due to the potential rewards that index funds may provide, some investors are ready to tolerate these risks and opt to invest in them. The expense ratio, which is the continuous cost of investing in the fund, is often lower in passive funds than in actively managed funds, which is a major advantage. Actively managed funds employ an active investment technique, as the name suggests. They constantly purchase and sell investments, so to speak. This often leads to greater expenses or expense ratios, which can eventually hurt the performance of a portfolio. Index funds often have a low portfolio turnover. This means they don't regularly acquire and sell investments because they are passively managed and merely follow an index. Low expense ratios are often the result of infrequent purchasing and selling. When compared to the high expense ratios of comparable actively managed funds, index funds' lower expense ratios may result in more growth. Let's examine a case in point. Let's say a buyer invests $50,000 in two funds that on average would increase in value by 7% annually before costs over the following 30 years. The only difference between the funds is the expense ratio. With an expense ratio of 1.2%, Product A is an actively managed fund. The fund would increase to $271,356. An index fund named Fund B has a 0.2% cost ratio. It would increase to $359 and $838,000. This represents an $88,482 difference, which may be attributed to a low expense ratio. Index funds may beat actively managed funds over extended periods of time because of the low cost of passively managed index funds, which can have an impact.
This is why some investors utilize index funds to merely follow market indexes, following the saying, if you can't beat them, join them. Hope you have learned something from this video. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for you to be updated on our latest videos. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Want to learn more and be more financially literate? Click on the next videos we have in our channel showing on the screen right now.